everyone to tonight's celebration. We're going to get started. Uh, being mindful that uh, this is a Thursday night and um, our beautiful summer that's been shortened as is. So uh, we're going to get going with our exciting news. And thank you all for joining us uh, tonight and taking the time out. Um, we're privileged to have you here. Um, I'm Christine Bianchi. I'm the chair of the Bridge to Success Partnership. And as you know, uh, Waterbury was the first community in the state of Connecticut to establish a cradle-to-career youth plan in 2009. Many of you here uh, were with us and partners who helped us put that plan together. Um, and we have been involved in uh, developing that child and youth plan since the late 1990s. It was the foundation of the work we were doing, and, um, and some of us were, were here then as well. Um, one of the strengths of water, our Waterbury community. So we are all here to make sure that Waterbury's youth succeed in school, work, and life. And I'm glad to see some of our youth here to remind us um, of the importance of our work and what it's really all about. So it's great to see everyone here, so many of our partners, uh, members of our work groups, funders, and other contributors. Um, I understand that we have, uh, uh, we've now reached over 80 Bridge to Success partners representing um, all of the various organizations and multi-sectors that it takes to do this work. And um, so we're really thrilled uh, for all who have um, decided to work with us. So I want to take a minute to recognize and thank all of our supporters, including some um, of our city, school, and financial partners. Um, with us here tonight, um, our mayor's not with us. <laughs> yes. Um, so we have Monroe Webster and Dr. Lett are here with us who have been um, fabulous contributors um, to our partnership and uh, providing leadership in our planning. So thank you for joining us. Um, is Stephanie here in Tavaria? Stephanie is a leader um, for the, uh, the president of the Waterbury Youth Council and hopefully will join us shortly um, and again has done wonderful work. So also with us we have representatives from um, our funders and those include um, Dave Adams. Thank from the William Casper Graustein Memorial Fund, um, who have been um, instrumental in getting this work started and then continuing um, in great faith with the work that we're doing um, as a primary supporter. Um, Kristen Jacoby, just saw Kristen Seeker. Thank you, Kristen. And thank you to Joanne reynolds Volanda from the United Way of Greater Waterbury, who are uh, both a funder as well as a collaborative sponsor of the Bridge to Success Partnership. We thank Paula Van Ness from the Connecticut Community Foundation, Dave Davidson. Dave Davidson from American Savings Foundation. And we're also grateful to Carol O'Donnell from the Lever Foundation. So thank you all for joining. We also have three community partners who are uh, financial supporters of the Bridge to Success, and we'd like to thank them as well. Um, those three partners um, are represented by Rupa Gandhi from um, East Sturseals, Gary Steck from Wellmore, and Don Thompson from Stawell Health Center. So thank you. And I want to thank Fran as well from East Sturseals, who has joined us. Um, so thank you to many of you who have made individual um, cash uh, and other in-kind donations uh, that we have received through um, Give Local and other opportunities that folks have found to support our uh, partnership. So I also want to recognize some of our supportive local and national dignitaries, such as Kathy Smith, who has been, where's Kathy? Oh. <laughs> Um, Paul Paneruski, the president of the Board of Aldermen. Um, we also have uh, our Board of Ed Education members, Tom Van Stone Jr. and Karen Harvey. And we expect that um, Alderman Greg Hadley, State Representative Victor Cuevas, and then Samantha Pillion from Congressman Elizabeth Estes' office will be joining us. Oh, Samantha is here. Okay. Good. 
Okay, so today we will hear from Mara Leary, Judy Pepler, the CEO of Knowledge Works, and Dr. Roulette, our superintendent of schools. So I will now turn um, our presentation over to Mara Leary, who's been a wonderful mayor and supporter of our youth um, here in the city, and we appreciate um, his work as a champion and supporting all that um, we have been working towards uh, here in Bridge to Success. You know, I had some prepared remarks, but I think I'm just going to do what I do best and just talk off the cuff a little bit. Um, first of all, uh, to echo Christine's uh, comments, thank you all for being here, and congratulations because of all of your work together is why we're all here together today. And I really want to congratulate Lori Hart. Thank you, Lori. You know, so there's a lot of people that work in the front line, and then there's a lot of people who work behind the scenes. And we know usually the ones that work behind the scenes are the ones who do most of the work, and us who are on the front line get the credit. You know, my father used to say, uh, no credit, no blame. And, you know, the truth is, the fact is, is that the Bridge to Success, which I've been involved with and watched Lori and her team uh, work for a number of years, uh, both when I was the police chief and on the uh, Board of Education, and now here, it's amazing the work that gets done uh, through Lori's work and her team and the Bridge to Success. And, you know, this designation today, and so deserving because of the fine work, you know, let's think about where we are. We've had a great week here in Waterbury. You know, uh, Monday, uh, we announced some great initiatives uh, through Governor Malloy's office that are going to have uh, major impacts on our downtown Waterbury. Also major impacts on our education department as we're going to be able to utilize some of those funds to further enhance our education opportunities here. And, and most importantly, um, you know, it's, it's a fact that it shows what happens when a bunch of uh, willing and able and hardworking people can get together for the good of the cause and put our individual agendas aside and do what's right for the city as a whole. And that's what Bridge to Success has done continually for all these years, you know, from the cradle to the career, um, you know, from the, to the 100 best community uh, designations uh, the last two years, I believe, and, and now this designation. It's amazing. It's amazing what can happen when a bunch of great people work together. And, uh, and really do it for the, the good of the order, right? So the good of the order is the city of Waterbury, and our best asset is our children. And so we're here to celebrate this today, knowing that we're gonna have so many great stories to tell and so many positive uh, impacts on so many lives that have so many different challenges. So, you know, I'm honored to, uh, to be here today as the mayor uh, in this great week that we have going. Um, the other great announcement we had uh, just yesterday was the stabilization of our hospitals here in the city of Waterbury, and that really uh, goes to what we all do, especially in our different uh, uh, positions. But again, it's the children, right? So if our health care providers are able to uh, stabilize their, their situations, uh, uh, certainly it's going to have uh, reap uh, better uh, benefits and outcomes uh, for the children, and that's why we're here, because of the children and all the things that we care about the most. So to our superintendent of schools who is here, president of our Board of Ed, commissioners on Board of Education, our aldermanic uh, elected officials, certainly our stakeholders from all of our not-for-profits and all of our different programs citywide, you are, all of you collectively, are the reason we're enjoying tonight's celebration. So, Big round of applause for all of you. I thank you very, very much. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Mayor Larry. So tonight we have the pleasure of being joined by Judy Pepler, who is the President and Chief Executive Officer of Knowledge Works, and she joins us from Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, she's a graduate of the board, excuse me, of the Broad Superintendent Academy and was a former Chief Transformation Officer for the Wake County Public School System in Raleigh, North Carolina. 
She also worked in the telecommunications industry for more than 23 years, including oversight and integration of sales, marketing, network, regulatory, media, and legislative strategies. Ms. Pepler was deeply involved in education issues in Portland, serving on the board of the Portland Schools Foundation and co-chair of Portland's Cradle to Career Council, now known as All Hands Raised. So Ms. Pepler says, our students need learning environments that empower them to think critically, solve problems, and prepare to compete in a global environment, and communities must be fully engaged in their success. Through our policy work, innovative schools on the ground and research on the future of education, we will play a critical role in helping students to be prepared for college and the careers of tomorrow. Ms. Pepler graduated from Arizona State University and earned an MBA from Boise State University. So we're pleased to have her join us here tonight to celebrate our announcement, our designation, and our success. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you. And thank you for inviting me to speak here today on behalf of KnowledgeWorks and Strive Together. Strive Together is actually a subsidiary of the KnowledgeWorks Education Foundation. As Christine said, Bridge to Success was formed four years ago when community-based organizations here decided that they could have more impact collectively than individually. And now an amazing 84 partners have signed a partnership agreement committing not only to share data and attend meetings, but also to help all children in Waterbury succeed from cradle to career. And I'd invite you to go look at the list of the partners over there that's posted there. It's really quite remarkable. So I'm going to join the mayor and say, give yourselves a round of applause. Congratulations for the work that you've done. Bridge to Success is truly a bridge, bringing together much of the community landscape, business, philanthropy, civic, nonprofit, faith-based, early childhood, K-12 and post-secondary education, as well as parents, youth, community members, and healthcare are all represented. It's really remarkable. And all of you have come together because you know that education equals opportunity for the youth in your community. All these issues that you're working on are also issues that are in the main stage on the national level. Early childhood education, early grade reading, high school graduation rates, affordability and access to early college, and college graduation. KnowledgeWorks focuses on these issues to ensure that all students are able to thrive in college, career, and civic life. And we focus on community development and collective impact through Strive Together's work in communities just like yours. We know through Strive Together's experience, and I know you all know now, that this is not easy work. It takes a high level of engagement, it's complex, but it's through the work of dedicated community partners like you that we know that change can and will occur. Strive Together works deeply now with 49 different communities, and congratulations, tonight we're announcing that you're one of the 49 communities that we have put in the Strive Together network after our assessment. Jeff Edmondson, our executive director for Strive Together, really wanted to be here today to celebrate and speak with you about the great strides you've made. But let me share a little of some of the reasons why you have been made part of this network. Bridge to Success has already received partnership agreements from all of the 84 members of the Community Council, which they update and on a monthly basis at Community Council meetings. You've engaged the local school district, which in turn builds and maintains trust across the partnership. You've already launched two official uh, committees, finance and governance, and other committees will be formed as needed. And Bridge to Success has already identified six outcomes that partners have all agreed to work toward changing. We are looking forward to seeing much future success in Waterbury. We know that you're focused and you're continuing to do the amazing work of collective impact focused on the students and the community's future. I would love to have the mayor and the superintendent and Lori and Christina up to present a certificate of achievement for your partnership. Congratulations.
official. <laughs> we really are one of the 49. Um, very exciting. So thank you very much, um, Judy, um, for that um, overview of our accomplishments and looking at it from um, a national lens. Um, and certainly it's validating. We know that uh, for those of us who've been in the community a long time, we are working differently and we are feeling the strengths. I feel the strength in this room, not just by the number of people who are here, but uh, the way we're working together and utilizing our resources. Um, but it certainly is validating to hear where we're on the right path compared um, across the country. So thank you for that. Um, and thank you, Mayor Larry. So I, um, uh, Judy mentioned the importance of the Department of Education and we have um, really been pleased with the um, strong partnership that we have built uh, with the Department of Education. Thank you to the leadership of Dr. Olette and Anne-Marie Cullinan who was unable to join us this evening. Um, and so uh, we'd like to um, hear from Dr. Olette um, tonight to talk about um, our schools and uh, the linkage with Bridge to Success. Um, as as um, hopefully all of you know, uh, Dr. Lett is the Waterbury Superintendent of Schools, and she took the post in November of 2011 after serving as Superintendent of Schools in Manchester for seven years. She's a member of many Connecticut professional uh, educators associations, and her expertise is well known throughout the state. A member, um, excuse me, since 2011, she has demonstrated her vision and passion for improving teaching and learning in Waterbury in developing a new strategic plan for the district known as the Waterbury Public Schools Blueprint for Change, moving forward for student success. Dr. Ouellette has provided a reform plan that once fully implemented will assure Waterbury children and youth receive a quality education that prepares them to careers of their choice. Dr. Ouellette looks to the families of Waterbury students and the community at large to be partners in reforming Waterbury education for the better. She is a champion of the Waterbury Bridge to Success Partnership. We welcome her here tonight. Thank you, Christine, so much for those remarks. And uh, thank you, Judy. That's a very difficult um, act to follow with regards to being a fellow superintendent. So I thank you uh, for that. So I'm very pleased to be here uh, tonight, and I congratulate sincerely the City of Waterbury, the Waterbury Bridge to Success Partnership, Waterbury Public Schools, and, and the entire Waterbury community on the major accomplishments of Waterbury's designation as Strive Together Cradle to Career Network member. You have heard over and over again today about the meaning of important achievement and the fact that this designation is rare. It's very rare and limited to just 49 communities nationally and four communities all over New England. This distinction comes in water, Ray, because as a community, we have placed an emphasis on the opportunity for our youth and have provided resources to support their academic, physical, social, and emotional growth. We have made a commitment to serve the whole child in Waterbury and that they may lead healthy and productive lives as adults. With the leadership and support of our city officials, Mr. Mayor, Board of Ed, Board of Aldermen, the schools and community-based agencies that surround us and all the organizations and stakeholders are making great strides towards improving the quality of life for all Waterbury children and families. As Waterbury Superintendent of Schools, I'm very proud of the efforts that many school staff who not only promote the social emotional development and academic success of students every day in our schools, but, but who are also directly involved with the efforts of Bridge to Success Partnership, school personnel, uh, participate in active members of the BTS Community Council, BTS work groups, and BTS communities. As you know, Waterbury's community plan for children and youth from birth to 21 was formalized in its present form a few years ago, then the first of its kind in the state of Connecticut. This forward thinking inclusive and comprehensive approach to supporting children and families through a collaborative of municipal, school, and community partners fosters early, ongoing, and long-term success for Waterbury youth. It sets the Waterbury community apart from other great cities. Simply stated, all of us in the Waterbury community are working together on a common agenda of providing what youth need to be successful in school, in work, in life. Both the Waterbury Public Schools Blueprint for Change Moving Forward for Success 
the schools, district school uh, strategic plan, and the Waterbury's Community Cradle to Career Youth Plan include a call to action on this common agenda. Through continuous communications among the school district and community partners about shared measures of progress on common agenda items, Waterbury distinguishes itself, and I'm very much a part and proud to be part of it. As you may know, schools and community agencies, such as those represented here today, are working in concert to achieve collective impact on priorities such as kindergarten readiness, reading and math achievement, high school graduation, and college, college workplace readiness. Our schools and community partners are working to promote and assure dynamic parent and family engagement in this process, supporting parents and caregivers in their roles as their child's first and main teacher. Together, we are also engaged in activities to promote positive mental health, healthy nutrition, and physical activity for Waterbury children and youth. School-based initiatives con uh, contributing to effective collective impact in, in this community priority areas include Blueprint for Change Strategies, and I can list a list of them, I'll name a few. School leadership development, recruiting, training, and retaining high-quality teachers, improving school attendance, promoting parent and caregiver, uh, caregiver excuse me, engagement, providing early learning opportunities, focusing on early literacy, providing various after-school programs, and I can go on and on in the list. Um, and certainly, many of the folks today have uh, shared those initiatives with you. I. Um, I also want to comment about the Gear Up project in collaboration with uh, Naukatuck Valley Community College and opening certainly the Waterbury Career Academy in 2013-14 has been tremendous in producing members for the workforce. So I am delighted to be here today for the opportunity to celebrate Waterbury's collective efforts to help children and youth to be successful at every point in cradle to career. Once again, I share everyone's congratulatory remarks. Congratulations, Waterbury. We and I am so proud of all of you. So thank you. So I was asked earlier this evening if we'd be, you know, how long I thought we'd be here. Would we be here for two hours? Gosh, I hope not. Uh, so although I certainly think that we have more than two hours worth of celebration uh, here tonight. Um, and one of the things I'm thinking about is um, the important uh, virtues of leadership, and that is that we all look at um, the strengths that we have and make certain that we're building upon those. Um, and when I look out in this room tonight from this podium, um, I'm just really overwhelmed with the strength, not only of the numbers that we have here, um, but the knowledge, the commitment, the passion um, of the folks who are here in the room and who have done this work with us and come to the table um, year after year, time after time, even though it's very complex and messy work. Um, we're not doing the same work that we did um, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Uh, we're learning us old dogs how to uh, work differently um, and work for that collective good. Um, and what could be more important than um, doing so for the sake of our youth and for their success? Um, and that's a great thing to be on the map for. Um, so uh, thank you so much for coming together tonight. The other thing that I want to um, echo that we heard earlier is um, to congratulate and thank um, Lori Hart and Chris Durant and um, Andrew, who is not with us this evening. Um, but the staff have been um, remarkable. Um, the, uh, the application for this um, recognition was um, onerous at best. <laughs> We're streaming. Hint, hint, okay. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, our thorough application is really what helped um, for us to uh, be recognized for the work we're doing because it's so easy um, to miss um, all the work that's being done in so many of the components that STRIVE really evaluates. Um, we appreciate the direction um, that STRIVE gives in um, providing what are those next steps. We're, we're um, steam ahead going towards the next level of uh, recognition. We want to be number 10th in the country. It sounds like a good number to me. Um, and we're, we're really grateful and reliant upon um, Lori and Chris to keep us on that path. Um, so thank you. So again, thank you everyone for joining, on, joining us on this um, summer evening and um, helping us celebrate 
um, our work towards our city's youth succeeding in uh, school, work, and life. Um, I welcome you um, and invite you to stay and um, celebrate with us and um, enjoy yourself and have some refreshments and healthy snacks. Um, thank you again for all your work. We, together we've accomplished this.